How, how could you call us Ali Muhammad? How could you call us somebody's general? And you can't even deal with one of his soldiers. And you quit the debate. But he's talking about he going to come and win 150 pounds. And the Bible wins zero. What of the case he said? 180, Bible wins zero. He fell before the, the roys of a gun. So, so much for his scholarship. All the niggas is a bunch of clowns, man. Give me Acts chapter 5 verse 38. Look at Acts chapter 5 verse 48. 38, drop you. It says, and now I say to you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Uh, read, read up a little more. Read right 36. Uh, verse, uh, verse 36. For well, before these days rose up Jesus, boasting himself to be somebody. Verse of uh, the book of Acts, the five verse thirty-two, and we are his witness, witnesses of things of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, who the Most High gives him to them that obey him. Right. So that's the disciple, and the Holy Spirit is what the knowledge of the Most High. That's the Holy Spirit. Read on. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. And all them guys, polite. Wow, Sandy, all them guys got cut to the heart. Ali Muhammad, well, he didn't even get, he didn't even get to the base. He fell out. So some of his scholarship, man. Read on. It says, they stood there up. One, um, one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law. Right, that's Paul's teacher. Read. Had a reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles for a little space. Huh? And he said to them, ye men of Israel, take heed for yourself what ye intend to do in touching these men. Right, and that's who? The prophets of the Most High. And a lot of these guys gonna find that out, slandering the elders, man. Just like where what? When Miriam spoke out against Moses, the Most High came down personally and was like, yo, if it be a prophet amongst the people, I'll make myself known to them in dreams and visions. My servant Moses is not so. I speak to him mouth to mouth. I mean, you're not scared to speak out against a man like that? So the Most High curse Mary. And all you guys that come up against the truth, that come up against the man of the Lord, guess what? You gonna get cursed. Your day of reckoning is nigh. Read on. And it says, Well, before these days rose up, uh, uh, feared us, posing himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men himself to be somebody. And that's all these guys in the conscious community. All them guys boasting themselves like they somebody. They all have the criteria on how to make it. Well, you're just a ghetto scholar. You're a nigga with pseudo knowledge, man. What are you talking about? The, the Egyptians and this and this and that. Where are the ancient Egyptians today? By the ancient laws of my yacht. Where is that being implemented? What kingdom is following that? Not a damn one. Okay, the ancient Egyptian fell, man, and never rose back into prominence and power. So that empire is destroyed. Same thing like ancient Babylon. And all their glory and all their might, they fell. So why are you looking at them kingdoms of old? If they had the truth, they would keep going. We don't? And it says, uh, it says, uh, stop the question again. Well, before these days, those are theaters, those both himself to, some, to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined himself who were slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to north. Right, so this was a guy, this is a history. Came up against the Roman Empire, and guess what? He fell, man. Right? The most I set up the wicked ass Roman, just like he set up the white man today. He set him up to rule. So if we try to do something against the scriptures, because the scripture says to wait upon me, saith the Lord. So we try to form some kind of coup. 
beat that against the government like the Black Panthers, that shit gonna fall, man. Alright? Because that's going against the order. Read on. It says, uh, talking about the new Black Panther party. Khalid Muhammad is simple behind, man. That's why he's no longer here shooting. Because his counter was of men. Read on. And after this rose up Judas of Galilee and the days of Atachi and drew away much people after him. He also perished in all, even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. Now the guy that came up against the Romans got destroyed too. This is Gamaliel is saying. Read on. Verse 38. This is the point right here. And now, I said, and now I said to you, refrain from these men. And that's what you guys gonna find out. You should have never spoke out against the men of the Lord. Should have refrained from them. That's what Gamaliel is telling the other Israelites that wanted to bring harm to the disciples. He said, "Refrain from these men." Read. It says, "Refrain from these men." But uh, what it says, "Refrain from these men and let them alone." For if this council of all this work be of men, it will come to naught. If any council of men is going to come to naught, conscious community, right? Ali Muhammad, polite. What's this guy named? Uh, Cyrus Sunseti. Well, he's in retirement. That clown, man. He's in retirement, man. All right? Polite. He got crushed. He's gone with his madness. Ali Muhammad, he didn't even make it to the debate. Because why? His counsel is of men. Read on. Huh. Verse 39. It says, but if it will be of the Most High, he cannot overthrow it. If it's, if, like this. This right here, what we're doing is of the Most High. You can't overthrow it, man. And all these pseudo-religions, they're going to get cast down anyway. Christianity, that madness is going to get cast down. Islam. Right? Well, you got the damn Arabs getting bombed right now. And how come Allah ain't saving them? Because that's what this clown Ali Muhammad was going to debate. The Bible or the Quran. Which one is better for black people? Right? That Quran is the chief carbon copy of the Holy Scriptures. Right? And there's so much contradictions in that book, it's ridiculous. Like we said for the one millionth time. Like we said for the one millionth time, no prophet can come out of Ishmael. Nope. And the Islam that Ali Muhammad is teaching is not my. The the the, 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 is, the Muslim the Islam that Ali Muhammad is teaching is not even in the Quran, man. He don't got his kufi, he don't got his beard, he don't pray towards Mecca. But you, your last name is Muhammad. You a clown, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm saying them niggas don't even know what they follow. Me. Your eyes don't want to drink. Real quick, I want to do. Uh, I was going to say, he wants to speak to college niggas. And he said, oh, this guy do this and that, this and that, right? I forgot. And then I think that, um, he said, I think come say something with that. And I came and said, hold on. Didn't, um, Sam Tzu and Shetty, Brother Polite, didn't they got smashed in the debate? You can't come and get the Israelites, man. You're done. Yo, he never wrote back, man. He never wrote back. Why? Wow, because they counsel his own men like we just read. Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah says the one verse 3. The ox knows his owner. The ox, which is a dumb, stupid animal, knows his owner. Read. And his ass, his master's crib. A donkey, he knows where his master's house is at. But what did the Most High say? Read. But Israel. His people, Israel. You Negroes, Hispanics, and your native Indians. Because a white man calling himself a Jew is a devil. Okay, he ain't a Jew, man. He's a devil, man. That's a Khazarian rat that's over there in Israel. Proclaiming to be something that he's not. Okay, the Bible tells you the Jews are black. The scripture gives you Christ's description. It gives you the angel's description. Moses passed the Egyptian. So we know beyond a shadow of a doubt who the Israelites are. Based on a prophecy in Genesis, the 49th chapter, Jude, the 33rd chapter. Okay. Read on. But Israel does not know, my people do not consider. Oh boy, and these Negroes, Hispanics, and you native Indians. You 
right? So the size is evident, man. You're Matthew 683. The book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 3. In the morning it will be far weather today. For the sky for the sky is red and roaring. All you hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can they not discern the signs of the times? That's just a perfect scripture for right now. The Lord saying you can tell when it's about to rain, because the clouds get heavy. He say, you hypocrites, you can discern the the the, the read that again? Okay. Matthew chapter 16, verse 3. In the morning, it will be foul weather today. And for the sky is red and lowering. All ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky. The Lord said you can discern the face of the sky, read. But can you not discern the signs of the times? Say you can't discern the signs of the times. You don't know what time period you're living in. Come on, man. But that's what the scripture says.